Okay, in today's video we are going to talk about calculating the divergence of a vector field. The divergence is written as del dot a, where a is a vector field. The specific equation we will use to calculate the divergence depends on the coordinate system we are working with. You can see here the equation specified for three common coordinate systems, rectangular or Cartesian, cylindrical, and spherical. Let's apply these equations to an example and establish a systematic routine for calculating the divergence. The first thing we will do is identify the coordinate system. Looking at the given vector field, the lowercase r hat and z hat are dead giveaways that we are working with cylindrical coordinates. The equation for the cylindrical coordinates is this one. Next, we want to identify the r, phi, and z components of the vector field. I'll denote these as a sub r, a sub phi, and a sub z. We notice that there is no component for a sub phi. That means there's nothing multiplied by phi hat. As a result, we say that component is zero. Finally, we apply the correct equation for our coordinate system. Basically, we are just following the equation and using knowledge from calculus one to compute partial derivatives. For example, if we see the partial derivative with respect to r, we will take the derivative with respect to the variable r, assuming that all else is constant. Once we've done this, we can arrive at an answer for this example. 20 times e to the negative r all over r, multiplied by 1 minus r in parentheses, and then we're going to subtract 6 from that whole expression. All right, to wrap this up and summarize, we are going to follow these steps to compute the divergence. First, we're going to identify the coordinate system. Second, we're going to identify the components. And lastly, we're going to apply the correct equation. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful. Look out for more videos about vector calculus coming in the near future.